three. Yes. Now we will go with the Kendras. Yes. All right. Kendras it is. Okay. Um, so now, you see, we always start with Navamsha when we, uh, with Trikona when we learn Navamsha. First Trikona. And then we learn the Kendras. The Kendras are quite vital. They're the Purusharta. All right. The Purusha Artha. The real wealth of human beings are from the Kendras. And um, this also has a different implication. Purusha Artha are the four Ayanas also. Dharma Artha, Kama Moksha. And if you are not following either of these four, you are not an appropriate human being. There's an implication in that. Okay? If you do not follow one of these four paths, you are not actually living up to your potential as a human being. Either you must be Dharma, Dharmic, or you must perform Karma Yoga through Altra Ayana. All right? Dharma Ayana means Jnana Yoga. Artha Ayana means Karma Yoga. Okay? Moksha Ayana is Bhakti Yoga. Mm -hmm. And in Kama Ayana, it is Raja Yoga. So if you're not following one of the four yogas, you're truly not living up to your potential as a human being. Okay? So I'm going to be nice to people and leave that aside for now. But actually you can see parts of this in the chart reading. So we'll start with Kendra's and get the basics. So I'm going to give a simple principle first. The Kendra in Navamsha gives wealth. Okay. This has several, several connotations and I'm going to explain a few of them. Planets in Kendra and Navamsha support wealth and benefit you. That's the first statement. Mm -hmm. Lords of the Kendra in the Navamsha can increase that wealth when well placed. Each Kendra gives a specific type of wealth and support depending on the Kendra. Now, here's a tricky thing. I'm going to make this easy now and just say, fourth house don't consider as a good support for you unless there are benefits. Benefits in the fourth house, you mean? Yeah, in the Okay. That fourth house is not a normal Kendra house. He's not just saying, I'll give you happiness and make you happy. No, no, he's not like that. He first takes a big loop and he looks at that graha over there and your karma and says, Acha, I think you have done some sin over here. All right. And if he sees a small type of sin, then he says, because of that, I have to pay, I have to pay you back with some, with some punishment. All right. And uh, and when that happens, it is truly devastating. A malefic in fourth is traumatic, severe trauma, because that fourth house is trying to make you absolutely clean and ready for moksha. Okay. Interesting. So the least about amount of what we call lack of innocence in the fourth house, is, is going to punish you ter terribly. This is where your brain will stop working and your emotions are completely in, under control, uh, under, are, are taking over. The fourth house in Navamsha. So this fourth house is very dangerous in charts. It is in fact also called the Karabhava. You heard the 64th Navamsha, Kara? Mm -hmm. So this is where it is coming from. And it's looking to see how innocent you are. Are you innocent? Are you innocent? Are you innocent? And it's, it's one criteria to decide how innocent you are is how well have you treated women? How well have you treated children? How well have you treated all those who are weaker than you? Okay. Obviously, the measurement stick was done in the last life, was used in the last life, right? In this life, only stick is used. Last year life measurement, this life stick, okay? So this, this one house, if there are benefics, congratulations. Okay. Good life. If they're malefics, this is tough. Very tough. Remedies are required. Yeah, so this difficulty, if suppose there are malefics, so you, you are taking all the malefics here or you are just leaving? All of them. Okay. Yeah, so suppose, unfortunately. Suppose some planet is there like Saturn or Rahu Ket. So do, the dasha, the suffering comes or in general, it is always a it, will, it is not permanent. It happens at a specific period of time. The problem is when it, it's an event and when it happens, it leaves an imprint on the mind and that imprint stays, the memory of that stays. And it's usually emotional trauma. 
Okay. Okay. Yes. Which types we have to unknow, but it is always some type of emotional trauma. I have examples, so we'll talk about that. The other Kendras are much nicer to you. All right. Okay. Thankfully. The other three others, they are very nice. They say, "Oh, Lagna, I will give you gyan. Ten thousand, I'll give you money. Seven thousand, I'll give you what you're desiring." Mm. Okay. I'll give you those desires. Okay. You hope they're good desires, but it'll give you. All right. Karma. Yes. Now this is this this has like I said several uses several connotations and this is not one sided we have diff different approaches so I'm going to show you uh, a few of them now professional direction I get many people asking me about professional direction and these four kendra can be very useful to see that direction all right and what I want to do in this is not tell you which job to do but it can tell you within your line of work, let's say you have a specialization, right? I, we can go one step further and say, okay, within that line, what exactly should you be doing? All right? For example, I'm going to show you how to be more, more successful as an astrologer in a minute. All right? So professional direction. Depending on which of the four kendra are strongest in Navamsha, that is your best line within your profession. This does not define the profession itself. All right. You must first figure out, oh, I want to do this as a job. And then we'll figure out what to do within that job. And so here are the results. First house, sharing information is the general statement. Sharing information, okay, jnana yoga, dharma yoga. This implies teaching, training, informing people, and leading people. Uh, there's a sutra which says, um, if uh, all the grahas aspect navamsha lagna, you are a king. Okay. Yeah. Especially if they're in the Navamsha Lagna. Absolute king. All means all the planets. Yes. Now, there's a reason for that. You don't need all. Don't worry. Okay? You don't need all. Okay? Uh, if you have four, wow. It's a big thing. All right? But we'll get to what it means in a minute. It, it, but it has to do with you being leading. Leading people. Fourth house. Reforming or healing is the, uh, is the main focus. Remember I said fourth house can be tough. You need to be innocent over there, right? Your innocence is tested over there, or rather is measured. And what's happening here is, is that when you have planets over there, they support you in reforming and healing other people. Okay? These, this can mean handling patients, like a doctor, curing people of disease. It can be handling clients, all right? Some individual client, they come with a problem, you, sh you solve the problem. Mm -hmm. It can also be prisoners. You're a jailer. Somebody has done something wrong. Put them in jail. Tell them you're supposed to be a good boy. You must stop hitting all the women. You must stop stealing from all the guys and boys and girls and everyone. You should be pretty. You should be a good, good person and speak nicely to people. All right. That so that's reforming prisoners. So they become better human beings. At least you hope they're reforming them, right? So. That is what's going on in the fourth house. So if you have a fourth house strong, what do you think you should do as an astrologer? Consultations. Remedies. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Seventh house. Entertainment and research. So the, the essence why research is because you are telling people something which may not be useful information. Okay? May not be. You're not. They didn't come to you with a, you with a problem. You told them you they have a problem. <laughs> oh yeah. You told yeah. them this is what you need. You told them this is something you should be attentive of. But you're not necessarily teaching them because you are not educated. Lagna is educated. Okay. Seven days. You're informing the public. All right. The most common form of informing the public is advertising. So advertising, statistical work. What in your seventh house is strongest and you're an astrologer? YouTube guru. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because entertainment has become important. It must not only be knowledge, it must also be entertaining. All right. You suddenly have to think about, oh, how do I look on camera? Did I use the right camera? Am I using the right microphone? Am I using some nice images? Am I making sure things are beautiful? All right. Okay, so when you say that we study this, so suppose they have an exalted uh, planet or a benefic is also good, but what if an exalted malefic is sitting there? 
You should use that to your advantage. Okay? Okay. It just means you have to use it in a more malefic way. And then we see which malefic can use that. Okay. okay. Yes. Like let's say it is exalted Mars in seventh house. All right. You have to be very technical. Technique, 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 technique. Show boundaries, clear boundaries. You know, make a whole system. All right. Mar Mars likes to worship God. There should be some God pujas, homas, things like that. All right. Fire. Um, Saturn exalted in seventh house in, in uh, Navamsha. Oh, there has to be a party, party. Saturn what? likes party. He like, especially likes the booze, Saturn. So, so you, have to, you have to show something which is making the person, you know, feeling better about relaxing and being calm in life. You say, okay, now at the end of your day, then, you share, then there may be some jokes. You know, Saturn is always very sorrowful. They need to laugh a bit, right? I see. Things like that. It's very entertaining. Still, Saturn is very much at home in this house. Okay? Tenth house, product handling, selling or maintaining objects, assets, wealth, projects, and people. So this is this is so you're not sharing information. You're not handling individuals or changing individuals. You're not entertaining people. There is a product, and you're just handling that. You're sitting on that product and making sure it's good. Okay, it can mean gemstones, selling gemstones if you're an astrologer, right? Right. What if you're a doctor? You should sell medicine. You should actually become a pharmacist. This is mind-blowing. All right. So this really helps you make sure you're in the right direction because this is where you get most support. If you follow this path, you will be successful. All right. Okay. And in these kendras, if you have a benefit, for example, but if it is debilitated, so then also do you suggest they should pursue that domain? Like you said, I will compare me. all the kendras and see which is the best. Okay, I see. I'll not just take any Kendra. I'll find the best Kendra. Aha, uh -huh. okay, okay. So this is an example of an astrologer. First house teaching training, courses, online courses. Fourth house, consultations and remedies. Seventh house, YouTube astrologer, also researchers. All right? So this is, if seventh is strongest and you're an astrologer, you should ask for research grants to study the impacts of certain planetary placements in people's lives. Okay? 10th house, selling gemstones, selling software, selling spiritual or astrological artifacts, etc. You're having a shop, 10th house. Okay? It's product handling in 10th house. So this is an astrologer's example. You should, you should make lists like this for every uh, profession that you can uh, find in, in larger professions. Mm -hmm. So let us take Hitler. <laughs> Hitler again, right? So they take his chart. He has now, now there are planets in all his kendras, yes? So I have to, so what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to be concerned with the nature of these planets. First, I will see which kendra has most planets. So in the 10th, he has two. In the 7th, he has two. In the 4th, zero. In the Lagna, he has three, Ketu, Mangal, Venus. Yes, I'm counting the notes. So Lagna is strongest. Okay? Now, he first attempted to become a painter. Venus is in Navamsha Lagna, right? Painter? Okay? But failed due to too much Agni. This Mangal Ketu will not allow all that painting to happen, right? In fact, that Venus is defeated in Graha Yuda in the Vashicha. Too much Agni means too much criticism. So it's like he will criticize his own paintings or others? He was criticized by others. Oh, okay. Yeah. He was criticized by others. Maybe he took it too much to heart. He thought he was not perfect enough. You see Ketu in there? Okay, yes. perfectionist. Yes. Then he went to army, became a messenger due to first house. So the first house is now making him a messenger in the army. Sharing information? Army thing is maybe also because of Mars in first. It has to be Ketu, yes. Both can be in the Ketu army. Yes. Yeah. So, but, but he is he's going to army and he's uh, sharing information in the army. All right? Now, Mangal and Ketu and Strong can also make you a general. All right? But he was maybe too young at that time. So if he's not becoming general in the army, what do you think will happen if he enters politics? So this person can become the head of state because of that. All right? Very powerful lagna. Leaders are born. 
All right? Now, how many planets are having yoga with the Lagna? Three planets in Lagna. Jupiter and Moon are not. Rahu, Mercury, they're having Graha Drishti. This is not very permanent. This is temporary. So if you do his dashas, maybe he was in Rahu or Mercury dasha when he went to the, to the, uh, to become chancellor. All right. Saturn has Rashi Drishti. This is permanent. So there are four planets having permanent yoga with the Lagna. So you take That's Rashi Drishti different. also here. You should take Rashi Drishti. And then you see you'll get one, two, three, four, right? Oh, fantastic. And that's four. Now, how many grahas are there? Nine. So that's just less than 50%. So then you add graha drishti. So when he has raho drashta drishti, it is five out of nine. It's more than 50% now. Then this person is very strong. As soon as the dasha ends, out. Okay. Yeah. Here, Mercury is also having Graha Drishti, right? Yes, so I have to wait for Mercury Dasha. But you cannot have both Dashas at the same time, right? Okay, okay. Graha Drishti is only for the Dasha. Okay, so, okay, got it, got it. I think he was Chancellor in Rahu Mahadasha. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, right. Yes. Now, even if he becomes Chancellor of Politics, he will get it through force, Mars, right? Lots and lots of force. Yeah. So now you get what is his strongest part of his chart. I don't think what he did was right. I wouldn't support it. But I see why he had the, he had the potential to do it. Right? And I see Mars and Venus joined. Be careful. Whenever Mars and Venus joined, it's like one huge Gandanta yoga happening. Death is going to be over there. Okay? Small hint that will come up later on. Twelfth Lord in Navamsha is where you die. Oh my God! <laughs> Twelfth Lord Venus here. He will die because of Venus. Okay. In fact, the day he died and committed suicide, he got married. He married and committed suicide. So when the Twelfth Lord gets activated, that's it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. In Avamsha, it's like this. All right. And how would you uh, place this Rahu Mercury in the seventh house? Why, why are you asking? You think he's homosexual? Uh, no, I mean, I'm also seeing Jupiter and Moon in the tenth. I was trying to relate it with the other, oh, the other wells. Earlier uh -huh. slides. Uh -huh. Yes. So, suppose these, are... these three were not in the Lagna. Suppose. Then I think the tenth house would be the strongest. Suppose I'm just so, trying. So let us say he said he wanted to be a painter and his tenth house was strongest. I'd say he's not supposed to paint his own pictures. He's supposed to sell other people's paintings. Oh, fantastic. But, it, but don't worry about that. You can also paint one or two things and then sell them for the rest of your life. Okay. Yeah, there are many painters who do like that. That's the 10th hour strong. Okay. The, after they do one or two things and they put all the energy into that, then after that, it's just proper handling. Okay, sell, sell, maintain, sell, 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 maintain. All right. Yeah, and there are many astrologers also who have that. I mean, they have their courses online, and then people they what? Yes, they do. They do exactly. That's the tenth house again. It's just product handling. You do something once, and you just keep maintaining that product. I see. Right. Seventh house. That's entertainment. Okay, so they're earning from ad advertising, making ads, you know, keeping to uh, keeping on publicity, going into the media, appearing on talk shows and things like that. That is the seventh house. All right. Yeah. And one last question I have here is like you said, wherever the 12 regarding the 12th Lord, you said that can activate uh, those like death like scenarios. So suppose somebody is having a Vrishtik Navamsha. So then if they get married, uh, well, what can happen? Like some scenario like that can happen or how do you see? If Rishika Navamsha gets married, there will be some problems which arise. Yes. Because 12th they Lord will have some issues. It doesn't mean they'll have bad marriage. The seventh house is also loaded by Venus. Okay? Yes. But yes. they will be met with some concerns about their health or their welfare. Some death like incident can happen. All right. It, when they get married, this is expected for them. All right. So these are the people who, when they're getting married, maybe somebody is having a heart attack. Okay. Oh, okay. Sometimes that some family member dies and they have to postpone the marriage. That can also happen, yes. Okay. Yeah. And one more thing you said, Venus Mars has this Gandanta. So this, this is like, uh, this is like valid only if in trines or kendras or anywhere. In anywhere. Venus Mars yoga is Gandanta yoga. 
It's very tough yoga. You prefer it to be in uh, even houses, second house, fourth house. Then it can give very high culture. But in other, in, in odd houses like Lagna, 7th, 3rd, 11th, it can be quite terrible, very devastating. All right? I mean, that person can be in charge of killing others or he kills himself or anything like this, you mean? That does, there's no guarantee of killing here. Gandanta yoga just means devastation, all right? It means that either the Agni is too high or the Jala is too high. And in, in, so it's never, it's never working properly. And when the Agni is too high, we get worried. And that's why I said odd houses, like 3rd, 7th, 11th and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Distinctly in 3rd and 7th, 11th in Namamsha, it means high sexuality. Oh. High libido, very, very high libido. The person will have affairs, many affairs. Okay? So yeah, they need to seen, how to control it. Yeah, I have seen even if Venus is in the Kama house, Kama Trikon, 3711 in Navamsha, I have seen people having many affairs. Even in Rashi, it causes Bahustri Yoga. Okay. Again, you need to confirm from Navamsha, either way. Exactly, exactly. What else is here? Aha, Schwarzenegger. So now here's some exceptions, all right? So if I told you Schwarzenegger is an option, and then you would say, oh, but he's an actor, entertainer, bodybuilder, the seventh must be very strong in his chart. And then you see his chart and you see Lagna is very strong. What do you do? So small thing, Atma Karaka can tilt the scales in this chart. Seventh Lord is Mars and Mars is Atma Karaka. So this means the soul wants to do this, no matter what society says. All right? They want to do this. You cannot stop them in such a case. It's very hard to stop them. And then only when the Atma is happy, then the other houses will work. Okay? So it's possible that the weakest house is strongest, but only for a temporary period of time. All right? And then the other houses will work. So this is what's going on in his chart. Once he entered, once he decided, okay, now he's taking a rest from the other things, then this Lagna became very strong. He decided, all right, either I have to teach or I have to be a leader. All right? And so he chose to leadership. Now, why does he choose leadership with this chart? Jupiter and Mercury are natural teachers, right? Okay? Now, this is in Libra sign. Sorry, Taurus is sign, Venus is sign. So that means there could be a strong focus on topics like uh, what we would call, we said Venus is the government servant, yes? Venus is government servant. So it's possible the person might enter some work which has to do with government, okay? And I wouldn't decide from the planets here, but I do know that because it's Mercury and Jupiter, there's a lot of a focus on sharing information, teaching people, directing people. Somehow this has become a very important focal point of even his political career. All right. So like that, we will judge. Um, there are hints here. Amatya Karaka's Mercury. Amatya wants to be a minister. All right. There are hints in the chart. Okay. Let's see the next slide. I think, I think this covers this section. Let's see. Yes. Now, this is a new topic. Yeah, I think we can do this in the next. <laughs> All right. So stay tuned for this topic. Okay. Thank you.